All right, guys, what's going on? This is Ryan, a.k.a. Kenner and Clark. And on behalf of my partner, Josh Rager, and I just want to thank you for tuning into the Blockers YouTube channel. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different than our previous videos. The market has been treating everybody well. So we're going to be giving away $200 in Bitcoin to one lucky subscriber who leaves a comment below. So the only contingency is that you are a subscriber to the YouTube channel and that you leave a comment. And it's not a contest. We're not expecting any kind of uplifting comment. It's purely a lottery. So all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about something that I've been really looking forward to for quite some time. I've been talking to Jack and Max at Femex about implementing this, and they have just released this functionality today. So let's go to Femex.trade and check this out. So now we're on Femex. And as you can see, there's nothing that really stands out as being changed, except for when we're in this limit order template, you can see down here, we have something that's listed as the bracket order. Now, let's first go over the concept of a maker rebate and what it means to be a taker and a provider of liquidity. Now, when you use a market order, you're gonna be taking from available liquidity or resting liquidity. If I go to buy, I'm gonna be aggressively taking from the offer or the ask. And if I go to sell, I'm gonna be aggressively hitting into the bid or taking from resting liquidity in the bid. Now, when I do this, because there's no interruption and my trade is guaranteed to execute, I'm gonna be paying a fee. So I'm gonna be paying around 7.5 basis points to take liquidity. And this can add up to be quite expensive, especially if you're using high leverage. If you're trading on behalf of a large amount of contracts, a large notional value of contracts, you have to imagine that this fee is gonna be eating into your initial margin. So if you're trading with 100 times leverage, this fee is gonna be quite disastrous for you. So this is something that is used when time is of the essence, when you need to guarantee, guarantee execution, but it does not pay you to use this. You could justify using it, right? When you need to be in a trade, and surely enough, there are many times when you can't use a limit order, but if you can afford to use a limit order, it can be something that you can make a good amount of money using. Now, when you use a limit order, you're gonna be providing the exchange with resting liquidity. So you're gonna be providing it with resting bids or resting asks. And because of this, because you're helping the exchange increase levels of near price liquidity or near price depth, you're gonna be compensated. So you're gonna be compensated rather than needing to pay. And this compensation is around 2.5 basis points. Now, a bracket order allows you to act like a market maker. Now, before we get into that, though, let's just talk about what a bracket order simply is. So one bracket order is the same as if you're using the limit order. And when you're going to place a limit order, let's just say we place a limit order here. So we'll place one that is, uh, imagine we are going to be selling limit order right now, and it'll prompt us with this box. So we're gonna be placing a limit order to sell 10 contracts at 12,040. The current price is 12,001. And from here, we could press to add a take profit or a stop loss. So this allows us to do all of that. There's really no friction in this process. You don't have to worry about setting this after the fact. Your trade is set up from the get-go to exit, whether it works favorably or unfavorably. Now, what a bracket order allows you to do is set multiple orders like this, but with opposing positions. So before we get into this, I just have to say that if you're going to attempt to be a market maker or to benefit from this order template, it is useful to use this in a sub account. So to keep this separate from your directional based trading, just my opinion, if you're trading low volatility chop and you're looking to market make, I think that the best thing to do to not mix these up is to keep this separate in a sub account. And you could go ahead and go to the top right hand corner and create a sub account under your user account settings. Now, when we go to the bracket order, what you'll see is we're going to be picking a take profit and a stop based on tick amount. So this is going to be extremely beneficial for those really tight spaces, those really confined ranges that Bitcoin can be in sometimes. Now, stop and take profit tick amount is based on the tick size, which in the case of this exchange is 50 cents per one tick. So just keep that in mind. One tick is 50 cents, two ticks is a dollar. So from this template right here, 
we could immediately set up a trade that is, let's say, for example, a risk reward of two to one. So I want to market make in a very confined area with a range of, let's say, $10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose 40 ticks. Okay, or excuse me, I'm going to choose 20 ticks. My stop placement, it's going to be two to one. So I'm going to choose 10 ticks for that. And you'll see this sets us up with an order that has a $10 take profit and then a $5 stop. Now, don't blindly follow this. This is just a generic example for the video. So what we have from the get-go is an order template set up with two exits. So now we're going to go ahead and exit. And from here, we're going to pick the confines in which we want to place this order in. So let's say that in this example, I think that price is going to be moving within a $20 range between, let's say, 12,040 and, and this is a little bit wider now, but let's say outside of a $20 range, but the bulk of that move will be in there, 12,040 and then let's just say 12,000. So my first orders are going to be around 12,040. So I'm going to go ahead and sell, create sell orders up there. So bracket order template is selected. I'm going to go ahead and sell, confirm, sell again, confirm. We have some more. Let's add some more higher up, sell more. Okay, a little bit higher up. So now we have five orders, and these are only for 10 contracts each. Five orders to the upside, all right? And as you can see, if we go under active orders, this is going to list all the entire orders with their take profit and their stop loss listed as well. And now what we're going to go do is we're going to select the lower bounds for prices. And let's say it's 12,000. So we're going to buy with, again, the same take profit and stop loss implemented in the opposite direction. We're going to buy 10 contracts. We're going to move that down slightly. We're going to buy another 10 contracts. Again, move that down buy another, and you can see sort of what we're doing. We're enveloping price within a range. So now we have five orders to sell and five orders to buy. And the benefit of this is that now, and you can use plenty of tools to determine whether price is in, or rather Bitcoin is in the right condition or any of the other assets are in the right condition to do this, whether it's forward looking or current realized volatility. Now, what we're hoping is that price will oscillate within a range. And as that's happening, as it's coming into our orders, what's going to happen is the take profit and the stop losses are going to be triggered for the orders that are hit. And it's not going to conflict with the other orders we have. So normally, when you open up a position to long on Femex or on other exchanges, previously, when you opened up a position to long and then a position to short, it closed out whatever opposing position you had, right? It closed out against that position. This is keeping these order types separate. So again, what this is allowing us to do is essentially act as a market maker. And the benefit of this is, is that we can actually collect a good amount of premium or a good amount of, in this case, that maker rebate during times where price is just chopping. So again, it allows us to act like a market maker. And you're not gonna get into the specifics yet of learning how to delta hedge and, and how to dynamically hedge as you're providing liquidity, but very simply so, this allows you to take advantage of that maker rebate or being a provider of liquidity. And again, this, this ends up helping the exchange. Now, you don't need to use this for that purpose necessarily. Again, what you can do is use this in the same way that you would when you're just setting up an order and reducing the friction in the process of identifying what the stop and what the take profit is in advance. So previously on other trading exchanges in crypto, you didn't really have access to these types of features. You know, you had to place your take profit after the fact, you had to place your stop loss after the fact. And this just makes that whole process a lot easier. And if your life is made easier while you're trading, it's just one less headache to worry about or one less thing to think of when you should be focusing on other factors during your trading process. So go ahead and go to Femex.trade, check out this feature, give us some feedback. We'd be really interested in hearing what you think and take advantage of the same perks that market makers get to take advantage of. Collect some of that maker rebate. Everything adds up in the long run. So on behalf of myself and my partner, Josh Rager, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. And until next time, exercise proper risk management and trade effectively.